giving disabled veterans better access to affordable housing. I'm Neil Aber, covering the latest on the veterans community on the Central Coast. District 24 Congressman Salud Carbajal introduced the Home for the Brave Act Thursday, a bipartisan bill that would eliminate the requirement for veterans receiving disability to claim it as income for housing eligibility. In doing so, veterans with a high percentage of disability would be more likely to qualify for housing assistance programs through the Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD. As it stands, many veterans who receive disability for service-related injury or illness have to claim it, pushing their income too high to qualify for affordable housing assistance. Carbajal calls that a catch-22. Several programs on the Central Coast benefiting veterans, including Slow County Veterans Services and Capslow's Supportive Services for Veteran Families, are on board with the proposal. With the bipartisan approach, we'll enable veterans and their families the opportunity to receive long-term assistance. And stable housing is the first step in giving um, our support for the veterans and their families. If they're 100% disabled, we're limiting their ability to seek housing because like Biz mentioned, um, the, the cost of living here is, is unattainable for, for many. For the disability payments that these veterans receive, it is, it is simply not enough to live on here. The IRS gets this right. They don't treat these benefits as income. If you're treating a veteran's benefits as income, veterans, are in a catch-22, since they can then be told they are ineligible for assistance because they earn slightly too much money to get the helping hand that they need. This is the fourth time Congressman Carbajal has introduced this bill that he says is common sense legislation. He tells me that since it has bipartisan support, it stands a chance in Congress. In San Luis Obispo, Neil Hebert, KSBY News.